I've got to ask you something. Marry me? Yes. Congratulations on the movie. Why was it so important to you to bring this story to life? I wrote this story with Josh because I love rom-coms and I love where I come from. He came to me and said, why don't we set a rom-com in the Northern Territory? We're just meant to drop everything and fly to Darwin. <laughs> Lauren decides she wants to get married with her family in Darwin. Dad? Hello. What's that thing? Say hello to your grandfather. Grandpa? Grampy, Gramps? She goes there to discover that her mum has disappeared. Yes. And so we have to go and find her before we can get married. And then hilarity ensues, but also quite a heartwarming story about family and home yeah. and heritage. When you're hurting, where do you go looking? Back home. Mum's from the Tiwi Islands, but I've never gone to Tiwi. How about we just go up there? It's a, it's a complete new take on, on a romantic comedy. You think you know what you're guessing when you start watching this film. It's actually got so much heart to it, and it's mm. uh, you know, told through the lens of, like, uh, of the Aboriginal kind of experience, and you get to see parts of the country that I don't think have been properly highlighted before. You get... And when you guys go to the movies, what's your favourite candy bar treat? Oh, mine has to be the peanut m &Ms. What do you like? I go sweet, sweet and salty popcorn, and then I put the minstrels into warm, sweet and salty popcorn so they go a bit gooey on the inside. Stop it. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Go home. He's two hours late. Anyone got any jokes?